Is Last it? time I spoke to you was over in that corner of the square before yes. Joan Casper hit the road, Still, USA. That's exactly what I said when I came in. I was like, how funny was it the last time I was here doing a premiere was the over there with the cheerleaders, the yeah. Like yeah. That. That was awesome. um, and of course, you were in SpongeBob. Yes. You made an yeah. appearance in SpongeBob. I mean, how did you get involved in this? Did you get a call or this, did you? Uh, it, was, it was a weird chain of events. So, like, I, uh, I just finished doing um, Wonder Park, which was, I was a beaver in. So, I'm sort of working my way up through the, through the Animal Kingdom. I was a seagull in SpongeBob. I was a, 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 a beaver in Wonder Park. And then I said to my agent, I said, um, do you know who would be like my dream? Like, I love doing this voice acting work. I love playing characters, but my dream would be to work with Ardman on an Ardman film. And he was like, funny you say that, because I'm not even joking, yesterday we had an email come in from Ardman saying, you know, we, we really like Joe and would love him to be part of, we've got this idea of a role that we think he'd be good for. And uh, so it just sort of, it was fate, basically. Off the ceiling after that one. It, 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 was a, it was a huge bucket list tick for me. So I was like, yeah, it was a big, a big moment. And so, uh, what was your first exposure to Ardman? Uh, I watched a, uh, it was one, I think it was around Christmas time, I watched uh, The Wrong Trousers, Wallace and Gromit. And... Uh, from that, I was, I was so intrigued at how they made it because I could tell that it wasn't it wasn't a cartoon, it wasn't CGI, it was it was plasticine. And back then, I didn't really under, like, understand it. But I was so intrigued, so I got into um, I went to uh, a local uh, pound center where I lived and did animation uh, lessons with um, these, this guy that sort of showed you how to actually make it happen. So somewhere in 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 my parents' loft at home, there's a video cassette that I made myself of. Uh, I built a skateboarder out of plasticine and did like a little skate video um, with aliens and all that kind of thing involved. Do you think there's something secretly geeky about all British people? Maybe, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think maybe, yeah. But I was so fascinated about how it all worked and that kind of thing. And then I um, went from there to watch the rest of like, the Wallace and Gromit films, then obviously Chicken Run and then Shaun the Sheep. And uh, I've always been a huge fan of like how Ardman do it, with, especially with their comedy as well. I think they're actual, like, the, the way they write the stuff, like even with this, there's no, there's no speech in the film. But they can make you laugh. They know exactly how to that like classic British humour of like, and also all the Easter eggs they put in this film as well. There's so many like, uh, how they call it hat tilts to hat nods or whatever it's called nods to like other British culture and British films and stuff. And it's uh, I love it, brilliant. And uh, what do you think people will take away from the film? Um, I think I think people will be surprised at, at like how it will appeal to every age group. So I mean I I watched it on my own. Uh, in like a little advanced screening thing, uh, and I'm I'm 28, and I was it takes a lot for me to laugh out loud, but I was laughing out loud on my own in the cinema. So I think it, I think kids are going to love it, but also they've got the jokes in there that the parents will love as well. And I think that's the the recipe for making a really really successful kids film is to have that to have the whole family laughing is 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 the is the key. Uh, I'm what, good at doing that. <laughs> and what's coming up next for you? Uh, next for me, uh, at the moment I'm in the West End. Um, I'm playing the role of Ogie in Waitress, so I've got that for another couple of months, um, which I'm absolutely loving, and I'm loving doing the voice acting and acting in general, so I'd love to do more of that kind of thing. Um, I've got my own tour coming up next year as well with Diane, who's uh, pro on Strictly this year. Um, so we've got that in March and April next year. Um, and then I'm also doing the podcast as well for Strictly, so it's uh, keep myself busy. <laughs> I'm still uploading videos. <laughs> I know, right? That's mad. Well, it's lovely to see you again. Yeah, thanks very much. I hope to see you, you soon. Cheers. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Hey You Guys. Is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey You Guys.